Hey everyone, Tyler here at The Movie Beat. I want to invite you guys to join me as I go to the movie theater here today and I am going to see one of the Korean movies that started everything for me in theaters, sort of a, a dream come true. So uh, one thing I did discover when I came to Korea was that a lot of older movies get re-released in theaters and so it's kind of fun. You can check out some older films that you may never have had a chance to see in the theaters. Uh, the unfortunate thing for me is there's like right now a lot of one car Y films in theaters that you know are run just with Korean subtitles and I would really like to have seen them with English but I am very fortunate today I'm going to check out My Sassy Girl in the theaters. I can't even believe this is even possible but um, I think because of coronavirus and a lot of things we're getting way more than normal older films coming back into theaters so this is kind of a special day for me. Um, My Sassy Girl was definitely one of the Korean films that uh, that you would share with your friends or you would try to tell people about early in the day. Um, you know, before Old Boy, this was like in the days of Shiri, JSA, Volcano High School. There wasn't a lot to share, but there were some amazing uh, things out there. And this was one of them that uh, really kind of showed me for the first time what a modern romance story could look like in this part of the world that, that intrigued me in so many ways. Um, and it has to be an important marker on one of the things that brought me to this land and why I'm living here and everything. So um, very important film and I'm very happy to be seeing it in theaters today. So I want to invite you guys on my journey, at least to the theater. There's not a whole lot I can do on the way. Um, we got to wear a mask everywhere and things, but I kind of want to give you a sense of what it's like to go to just a local theater here. Uh, so nothing too crazy, nothing too special, but something perhaps you might be interested in. So let's go see My Sassy Girl in theaters here in Korea.
All right, I'm back. Okay, lots to report. I am so beyond happy and excited to have been able to see My Sassy Girl in the theater. It is a dream come true, and there are some really, really fun things that I want to share with you guys. First of all, when this thing started out, I was hoping that I could kind of compare the picture quality. Was this going to be like that remastered Blu-ray that we got? Um, you know, a, a, it's been a year or so that came out from Nova Media. What was going to be the picture quality? And immediately when this thing started out and we've got the title and underneath the title, 4K remastering director's cut edition, I was like, Oh my god, okay, so this is this is like a legit 4K remaster. And I must say, the picture quality blew me away. I have never imagined that I would see so much detail in this film. I mean, it was just so, so vivid, beautiful. Um, the one thing though that was a uh, point of interest that I thought with the picture quality, overall, of course I have never seen this in theaters before, and I can only compare this to the original Korean DVD that came out as well as the Blu-ray um, that came out here maybe a year or so ago, the one I'm talking about. I felt like the colors were a bit muted in this 4K remaster. Um, and I'm used to because like the characters wear a lot of like solid yellow, pink, kind of a turquoise blue color. I do remember those kind of popping a lot um, when I think about this movie just from all of the history that I have with it and I have seen it so many times that I felt like this remaster had a little bit of a greenish tint to it um, but I liked it I really really liked it overall it was just hard sometimes because of how how my memory sees this film so that that is a, a an interesting point but there the the beautiful the, the amazing news right now guys there is a 4k remastered version of this film please let's get this out on blu-ray let's get a 4k disc you guys will love this i'm so excited and so excited that this exists i, I i'm gonna see if this is playing more um it just gives me so much more hope that we're going to be able to see some of these older Korean films um, looking so clean, crisp. I just couldn't believe the detail, honestly. And it was actually really nice watching this because all of my experiences with My Sassy Girl, I always watch it with English subtitles. And as some of you guys know, the English subtitles for this movie are very, uh, a little, uh, are pretty pretty inconvenient because they are like direct copies of the screenplay so you see the characters names before all of the dialogue and it, it's a it's a little bit annoying um especially because they, they the way that they write out like gyonwoo his name it's so long and they say like girl a lot so this time i was actually able to watch more um facial expressions and just really pay attention to the characters uh and their acting and I gotta say, this is a Junji Hun masterclass performance. I couldn't believe all of the subtle, uh, intricate parts of her performance that I just didn't really notice so much because I was watching all of the subtitles. There's a lot of uh, talking in it, so you know, there's a lot of reading. I just be looking at the subtitles. This time, I was able to see those facial expressions, and it was really, it just blew me away. Wow, so good. Um, so I hope this little video to my local theater was interesting for you guys. I'm sorry it wasn't super impressive because, you know, I had to, we all had to wear masks and I don't have a lot of great equipment to take outside, but it maybe give you a little bit of a hint of what it was like for me to, to go there. And, um, hopefully someday you guys can come to Korea and experience a Korean film for yourself in the theaters because there is nothing like it, I gotta say, and I'm so glad that I was able to see this. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this film, the mastering, uh, anything about it whatsoever in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on my trip. It was one that I will never forget. So until next time, I'm Tyler here at The Movie Beat. Keep watching movies.